Hi everyone, this is Maria Lane and I thought I would share another message with you this week. Uh, today is Sunday the 15th of July. I am just a little bit amazed at how fast this whole year is going. Um, I know I shouldn't be planting any seeds, but I feel that once July comes around, the rest of the year seems to just ban uh, vanish. Uh, maybe it's an age thing, I don't know. But each year seems to go faster than the year before. But the reason why I'm sharing that is um, regardless of how things are speeding up or the perception that time is speeding up, I think the most important thing is that you uh, remain in the moment as much as you possibly can. So this month um, in the 21 days, we are focusing on self-worth. I feel that the lack of self-worth really drives a lot of issues in our life. And if we can find that balance and to realize the magic of who we really are, that we are spirit having a human experience. And I'm 100% convinced that's exactly what we're here to do. And we choose to have experiences. And I believe that the blueprint is actually decided before we project into planet Earth. And, you know, there's some sort of pre- um, pre-agreement with you know what sort of family we're going to project into and you know what the essence of our experience is actually going to be and and it's based on the eclipses the energy of the eclipses and we are I believe smack bang in the middle of another eclipse round so any little babes that are being born between in the next few weeks their experience will be slightly different to those that were born a few months ago because the energies are different and also the way the planets are, are aligned and wow where did, that, where did all of this come from anyway um i'm going someone randomly gave me a deck of cards the other day my neighbor as i was walking out the door to go and um give bonnie some some exercise she came up to me and said, Mary Lane, I've got a gift for you. And she gave me these cards. Dorian Virtue. What have we got here? Healing with the Angels. And I thought, oh, lovely. I love my cards. I think I've lost count, but I might have over 50 different decks these days. Um, and so I sat down and I shuffled a card and I got the Freedom card. And I thought, oh, interesting. Um, because, you know, I was feeling quite tied up with my um, my work events and I put that back in the card and I shuffled the pack I should say and I shuffled those cards again and I got the same card freedom I thought oh <laughs> the universe is trying to tell me something here and I kid you not I put it back in the card and I started shuffling again and that card flew out for the third time three times in a row this card wanted me to know that you know all of this constraint that I'm currently feeling is being manifested in my thoughts. And I have the freedom to choose how I feel at any point in time. And then Eckhart Tolle's quote about, you know, accept things as if you intended them to be. And through those two moments of clarity, I thought, yep, yeah, I have a moment. I can choose. And I can actually let the, um, the events of my work life crumble me or it can empower me and so I chose the empowerment path so I hope if you're listening to this that there's something in that um, <laughs> these leading words that may assist you because I believe if you're watching it you're drawn this way so let's see what these brand new cards have got to say and once again I don't refer to the handbook I just go with the intuition and the guidance that flows to me when I see the card so let's see, card number one, what have we got here? Oh, a new love. And then immediately, as soon as I saw that, because we're working on the self-worth, a new love of self, new love, um, a new love, new way of looking at life and, and feeling reinvigorated and hopeful and, and positive. A new love of, you know, a project that you're doing or, or possibly, um, a baby I don't know I just feel that this new love is not necessarily a new love as in a partner and that's great if that's what you're looking for but I just feel it's a new love new wave of love but more importantly I think it's um, recognizing the self-love is probably the most important love that we would we absolutely need in this lifetime so 
focus on self. Okay, so what have we got now? Number two, harmony. Oh, yes. <laughs> Find peace. Find that balance in life. Recognize that when you're feeling out of balance and draw yourself back to harmony. Make it your intention that you're going to be in the state of harmony as often as you can during throughout the day, throughout the week, throughout the month. And if you feel that you're being thrown a little bit off kilter, just remember this card and say, that's right. I choose and I choose harmony. And Louis is about to join us. Louis, <laughs> let's see, here he, here he comes. Hello, beautiful. Oh, no, you can't see him. There's his tail. He loves to um, sit in front of the computer. I think he's drawn by the lights. Come and say hi. No, here he goes. You can just see that tail. Um, beautiful black cat. Love my Louis. And I love my Bonnie. And I love my Millie. Okay, so now third card. Here we go. Oh, enchantment. Life is full of magical, enchanting moments. We just have to be on the lookout for them. You know, find, find the magic and the miraculous. Where did that one come from? Um, in the given moment. You know, be open to, to seeing what we currently can't see. You know, there is magic all around us. And I, I do believe in spirit guides and angels and fairies and elves and all those mystical wonderful beings that you know we've been taught as children or as we grow older that they don't really exist they're just you know in books um, and in movies but we don't see them here in real life well i disagree we we can't see them because we are a different vibrational energy to them and when we shift our vibrational focus we can start to see. So that's how I interpret that card, but may your week ahead be full of harmony, bliss, magical moments, and new love. Um, if you're watching this video in a few months' time, the same still applies. You know, whenever you see something, it's the right moment for you. That's when you are open to, to hearing and seeing the message. So much love to you. I look forward to sharing some more messages in the coming weeks. Um, remember to check out Murray Lane Spirit Art on YouTube. I'm actually uploading lots of new videos um, that I can share legally. I think I mentioned that last week. So yeah, lots of um, new spiritual adventures coming in for Murray Lane. Yay! <laughs> I lost my way a little bit. You know, my um, practical life took over, but um, I feel that 2019 I will have a grander purpose, especially with the spirit and um helping helping others serving others because you know that's what we we like to do i think that's what we're here to do okay ciao for now bye